Students, we are going to study today marketing strategy equation. Our learning outcomes, number one, at the end of this video tutorial, students will be able to understand how to implement a marketing strategy, what are the requirements uh, in doing a marketing strategy, how to conduct customer analysis, how to conduct a competitor analysis. So, this is uh, what I called marketing strategy equation. So, let us start. In this tutorial video, you can see that uh, it's called an equation because there are two variables that you need to identify before you can do a marketing strategy. So, number one is customer analysis. You have to conduct a customer analysis. And then, the competitor analysis. Once you have these two data, you can now formulate your marketing strategy. Again, I call this the equation because you need to identify two variables. One is the customer analysis and the other one is the competitor analysis before you can implement your marketing strategy. So, first of all, the marketing strategy consists of our four P's. We will not discuss about the seven P's, but basically the four P's. We have the price, we have the product, we have our promotion, and we have place. So, these are our marketing mix or the synonym is the marketing strategy. Okay? So your marketing strategy is about how you are going to blend, mix, synthesize all of your four P's. However, there is a requirement. The requirement is you have to conduct first a customer analysis. After conducting customer analysis, you have to conduct your competitor analysis. Meaning to say, marketing strategy entails research. That's why in my uh, tutorial video, I have a topic about how technology is changing market research. And one of the endearing impact of technology to marketing research is that it is agile, it is the accessibility you can immediately reach out to your target respondents. And then, there is also the, uh, you know, the comfortability of getting back your data so that you can process it and try to make a data analysis. So, in other words, technology nowadays helps improve the marketing research, especially the second endearing result is the real-time you know, insights of the respondents or the customers. So here, uh, we are going to uh, discuss about customer analysis in the perspective of implementing segmentation, targeting, and positioning. Okay? So we are going to discuss customer analysis. Alright, customer analysis, it is according to Sun Tzu, you must know your enemy no? so that you can make a strategy. And really, in marketing, competition is really very rough, very tough. No? So, customer analysis, number one, who buys and uses the product? Second question, what customers buy and how they use it? Where, where does your customer buy? And when does your customer buy? How customers choose and why customers choose a product? So, these are basic questions, no? 
that has to be answered in the customer analysis. So one approach, there are many approaches in customer analysis, but one for this tutorial video, I will just mention segmentation targeting and positioning approach. So basically segmentation, you have to understand the profile of your respondents or your customers in terms of uh, their the uh, demographics, no? Their demographics. You have to understand their age, their gender, religion, civil status, and then their range of salary income. Okay? So, that is one demographic. And of course, in segmentation, there is also what we call geographic, meaning to say, where are your customers located? So, that is part of the segmentation profile. And the other one is the psychographic. Psychographic is understanding the values, lifestyle, attitude of your respondents. So, that is very important data that you need in your segmentation, targeting, and positioning. Let's take for example, before Coca-Cola was just, you know, their product is just a regular book. And because of this segmentation, continuous research of their customers, they found out in their segmentation profile that there are still other opportunities or other unturned, unturned stones that has to be satisfied. So they develop Coca-Cola Light. And because of this continuous process, there is a continuous development, product development, that still they have other opportunities that they saw that they can serve. Like for example, there was Coke Light and there was, you know, Coke Zero, uh, especially for those who have diabetic, but wants to, you know, consume beverage. So these are great opportunities, no? not only concerns or challenges, but rather also an opportunity for the entrepreneur to make product development for this new market. So that is segmentation. And because uh, of technology again, you can reach out easily to your respondents. Uh, you can, you know, uh, make an easy survey and then getting back the, uh, the data that came from the customers and then you can do your data interpretation and data analysis so that the information that will be extracted will be a basis on your customer analysis findings and result and targeting is evaluating the segments attractiveness no? okay and then select one or more segments to target so the result of your segmentation comes your data analysis which particular uh, segment that uh, we need to target wherein the customer uh, customer you know acquisition will be you know uh, lower in cost the target segment shall provide us revenues, improve our growth, improve our market share. So this is the particular targeting and positioning is develop positive for each of the segment. No? Uh, and then uh, develop marketing program for each of the segment. What is the really in positioning, what do you want no? the customer to be retained in their mind? Uh, you having this product that will provide solution to their problem, that will provide an opportunity for their concern. So that is positioning. What will be no? the, the silent words that will remain no? in the minds of your customer? So that is 
how strategic using segmentation targeting positioning if you are doing customer analysis for the competitor analysis okay why is it this why is this competitor analysis very important no? number one you can predict the move of your competitor because the objective of competition is really to outperform no? your competition you get you know a share of their market you turn their customers towards you and you exploit their weaknesses you undermine their strengths meet customer needs and wants better than your competitors so these are the reasons why you need to conduct competitor analysis no? and you have to know your enemy according to the art of war of Sun Tzu so competitor analysis can be done through product feature matrix that's one or you can combine the SWOT analysis so this is very important again so that you can uh, identify the opportunities and threats and make your strength you know to take advantage of the weaknesses of your competitor okay so take those opportunities to counteract the threats that you are exposed no, in the market again uh, it is really uh, very important that you do in order to solve the marketing strategy equation before you launch your strategies in your price strategy in your product strategy in your promotion strategy in your place you must first get a research no so that you can understand what is no the demographic geographic and psychographic of your customers their values attitude preferences and lifestyle you must also understand the competitor analysis so that you can predict their moves, exploit their weaknesses, undermine their strengths, no? and meet customer needs and wants better than your competitors. You have a differentiation, no? aside from you know, cost advantage, maybe you have a differentiation. Once you get, no? in conclusion, once you get your customer analysis plus your competitor analysis, you can now have a correct answer of your marketing strategy. So thank you for listening. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe, like, and share. And thank you very much to my students who are always subscribing to my channel. See you next time and always keep safe.